Hello everybody, hope you guys are all enjoying your day. Today we're going to be looking at your Super Bowl 54 forecast here, and this can include your temperature forecast as well as your precipitation type forecast, which is going to be showing you where you're seeing snow, rain, or mixed precipitation, and the intensity of those different types of precipitation, as well as your travel impact forecast, and then I'm going to be doing individualized city forecasts for both San Francisco, Kansas City, and as well Miami, Florida, where uh, the game's actually being played, so make sure you are staying tuned all the way until the end. Now, before we do get into it, please consider subscribing and turn on notifications as I do make these videos daily and I greatly appreciate every single one of your subscriptions. Now, we are going to start off here with your temperature anomaly forecast or your temperature forecast uh, and this can be showing you the range of temperatures that you could be seeing and we're going to be going from 6 a.m., 12 p.m. Uh, and then into 6 p.m. and then also 12 a.m. on uh, Monday. So, uh, this is going to be... Uh, in Eastern Time, uh, of course. So this would be 3 a.m. Pacific Time, uh, 6 a.m. Eastern Time. Uh, so make sure you are paying attention to the timestamp on the bottom left of the, uh, the screen. Now we're going to be seeing these very warm temperatures for the beginning part of the day. Sun hasn't even risen here, uh, and Southern California, Southern Ar uh, Arizona, is seeing temperatures 60 to 70 degrees, closer to 60 uh, degrees. Now, as we get into southern Florida, and then also for uh, parts of the southwest, you're also seeing 50 to 60 degree temperatures anywhere in those greens. We have this large area through much of the central part of the country that's going to be seeing 40 to 50 degree temperatures as you get into your 6 a.m. Uh, time period. And then 30 to 40 degrees covers much of the country uh, from parts of the southeast all the way through the Great Lakes and up through the Canadian border. It's going to be a very warm day for you guys up into the central United States ahead of this system you're going to be seeing a lot of warm air be pulled in uh, from the uh, parts of, of the south and that's going to be pulled north as you get this system to kind of develop and it's going to form a warm and cold front so it'll be a very strong system and it'll also have a, a lot of a lot of ability to make your temperatures change drastically within just about a two three hour period and you'll see that with some of our individualized city forecasts now we also have a 20 to 30 degree area 6 a.m in the morning uh, and this would be over parts of the northwest as well as parts of the northern great lakes and into much of the northeast where you could be seeing 20 to 30 degree temperatures and then we even have a 10 to 20 degree temperature area over parts of northern new england and the northern upstate new york area now we're going to get into your 12 p.m. Eastern Time uh, time frame now. And you see it's much warmer now, uh, getting around your 12 p.m. time frame. And over Southern California, Southern Arizona, 60 to 70 degrees, as well as for parts of the South Central United States. And now we also have a couple pockets here and there of 60 to 70. And then we also have Southern Florida there, 60 to 70 degrees, 50 to 60 degrees, just surrounding that uh, and east of the Rockies. As you get south of the Rockies, you also have those 50 to 60 degree temperatures, 40 to 50 degrees for much of the Southern Rockies, as well as parts of the Northern Plains, as well as the Great Lakes and Mid-Atlantic. Atlantic states, 30 to 40 degrees for parts of the uh, Pacific Northwest, moving through parts of the Rockies and into the north central United States and into parts of the uh, just interior parts of the Northeast, and then 20 to 30 degrees for parts in the Northwest as well as parts of the interior uh, New England area. Now, here's 6 p.m. Uh, 6 p.m. on Sunday uh, Eastern Time. Now we have 70 to 80 degree temperatures even reaching into parts of Texas and southernmost New Mexico. Now we have Southern California, Southern Arizona getting into that six, uh, 70 to 80 degree temperature range. Six, 60 to 70 reaching into southern Florida, uh, the southernmost part of Florida, uh, right around the Miami area, and then moving through much of the South Central United States and even into the uh, Central United States, we're seeing 60 to 70 degree temperatures. Uh, and then that's even for parts of the southwestern uh, United States. 50 to 60 degree temperatures for much uh, of the areas east of there, uh, excluding parts of the mid-Atlantic and northeast. And then we also have that for parts of the southwest as well. 30 to 40 degrees for much of the northern plains as well as the Rockies. And th uh, that's also for parts of the Pacific Northwest and northeast. And then we have 20 to 30 degree temperature readings at 6 p.m. Eastern Time around the uh, western Rockies and then getting into parts of northern New England. Now here's for 12 a.m. Eastern Time 
and this would be on Monday now. You see, we have a f uh, we have 60 to 70 degree temperature readings for much of Southern California and Southern Arizona, as well as the southernmost part of Nevada. A little pocket there for Northern Texas and Oklahoma, seeing 60 to 70 degrees. And then also for parts of southernmost Texas, you could be seeing 60 to 70 degree temperature readings there as well. Now we have 50 to 60 degree temperature readings for much of the South Central United States, as well as part of the extreme Southwest. We have 40 to 50 degree temperature readings for parts of the coastal part of California as well as parts of the southeast and mid-Atlantic and even getting into the Ohio Valley. 30 to 40 degree temperatures over parts of the North Central and Great Lakes states as well as a little bit of the mid-Atlantic there. And then we also have 20 to 30 degree temperatures for parts of the Rockies and then into parts of the North uh, Central United States as well as much of the Northeast and of the Pacific Northwest. And then we even have 10 to 20 degree temperatures for parts of of the Sierras into the Cascades and into the Northern Rockies, as well as parts of Northern New England, seeing 10 to 20 degree temperature readings. Now, here's your precipitation uh, forecast here, and this is going to be showing you where you're seeing snow, mixed precipitation, or rainfall, and it's also going to show you the intensity of that uh, precipitation. So you see, we'll go from west to east. This would be by 6 a.m. Eastern Time, so 3 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. You will be seeing those rain showers over parts of the uh, Oregon area. Very light rain, but you will see some rainfall at least in those areas. Now, through parts of Oregon and Washington into uh, Idaho and Montana, you're seeing snow showers, so lighter snow, or even some moderate bands of snowfall into central Idaho. We also have another little arm of moisture that's going to move through the Michigan, uh, Ohio, West Virginia, and Virginia area, where you could be seeing some lighter snowfall as well as some mixed precipitation as you again to southern New England and into parts of uh, into New Jersey, New York, and Connecticut, Rhode Island, Massachusetts, and we even have some snow showers there for uh, easternmost Maine. Now getting into 12 p.m. Eastern Time on the 2nd, which would be tomorrow, uh, Super Bowl Sunday, you're seeing snow showers there, lightens up as it kind of, uh, you're going to have this little arm here that splits off from all this moisture into the Pacific Northwest, you're going to have this arm that splits off, and that's actually, if you watched my video yesterday, Yesterday, you'll know that that was the, actually the arm uh, or that little piece of energy that's gonna that's that northern piece of energy and then you're gonna get the southern piece of energy that's gonna combine in the middle uh, kind of on Monday and Tuesday that's what's gonna make that big storm for uh, that's gonna be very expansive uh, and if you want to know more about that system, I did post on that uh, yesterday, so you can go check that out. We also have a little bit of lake effect going on for Pennsylvania and upstate New York there now let's get into your 6 p.m. Eastern time time frame and you're seeing some mixed precipitation co into the coastal areas of Washington and Oregon I put mixed precipitation for the for the mo for the areas more uh, at sea level uh, closer to sea level you're gonna be seeing uh, some uh, rain showers snow showers just higher than that uh, so a little bit higher than that you'll see some snow showers it's really elevation dependent so I put mixed precipitation so just know your elevation is gonna play a big factor there now this would be by 6 p.m. Eastern time again you're that heavier uh, or those lighter showers kind of move through into parts of the northern Rockies and then you see this little arm of lake effect move through Pennsylvania and New York and seeing some rain showers on the southern side of that into uh, around the Philadelphia area and into parts of New Jersey now 12 a.m. Eastern time on Monday Right around midnight, you're going to be seeing some snow showers into the Cascades, as well as uh, some heavier snow getting now into Nevada and Utah, as well as a little band of uh, snowfall moving through upstate New York, Pennsylvania, and northernmost New Jersey. Now, we're going to get into your travel impact uh, forecast here. And we're going to go by 6-hour increments like we've been going for most of these. Now, this would be 6 a.m. Eastern Time, uh, 3 p.m. Uh, or 3 a.m. Uh, Pacific Time. And you're seeing these moderate impacts getting through into parts of the Northwest and even some high impacts as you get into Idaho, Montana, and Eastern Oregon where you could see some heavier bands of some snowfall. Now, you're going to be seeing some moderate um, travel delays as you get into parts of the Great Lakes where you could be seeing some snowfall uh, but it's going to be on the lighter side just could make those roads a little bit slippery now for parts of the New York City area you're going to be seeing some moderate snow uh, moderate uh, snow and rainfall that will be why you have those travel impacts there now getting into your 12 p.m. Eastern time time frame you're seeing moderate uh, precipitation move through into parts of uh, parts of the Northwest and Northern Rockies. That's why you have that moderate delay there or that moderate travel impact there. Uh, and 
really it's going to be a little bit heavy at times and it could be some moderate steady snowfall at times. Now into northern Wisconsin, into Michigan and into parts of Ohio, West Virginia, Maryland and Pennsylvania as well as New York, you could be seeing some moderate travel impacts getting into your uh, lunchtime. Now Getting into 6 p.m. Eastern Time, right around that game time for Miami where the game's being played. No travel impacts pretty much for the entire day. Uh, and temperatures will be pretty nice in the 60s and 50s for most of the day. But for uh, parts in the northeast, you could be seeing some moderate travel impacts as well as areas in the northwest and northern Rockies and parts of the Pacific Northwest could also be seeing some moderate travel impacts there. Now, here's 12 a.m. Eastern Time on Monday, and they're seeing that high uh, risk for travel travel impacts over parts of Nevada, Utah, Idaho, where you saw those heavier bands of snowfall as well. You see that moderate risk really where you're seeing those lighter snow bands into parts of the northern Rockies and western Rockies as well. And then we have that little band of snowfall move through New Jersey uh, into Pennsylvania, New York, Massachusetts, uh, and into Connecticut where you're going to be seeing some moderate um, travel delays on the roads. Now we're going to get into your Miami forecast and this is going to be your hourly forecast we're going to go by three hour increments and this is going to show you where your uh what temperature you're going to be at as well as your conditions and also it'll show you your high and low temperatures for both sunday and monday so here com coming for sunday 3 a.m it's going to be right around 58 degrees and you see stays steady 58 degrees or around the low 50s at low to mid 50s until you get around 12 p.m when you get that daytime heating could reach up to 68 degrees potentially for parts uh, of miami around 3 p.m. Now, 60 degrees by your kickoff, kickoff time, which is going to be around 6.30 p.m., uh, so around 6 p.m., 60 degrees, so it'll be a comfortable 60 degrees for you guys as you get into your uh, game time, and then 9 p.m., 54 degrees, clear for all of your uh, Super Bowl Sunday, so uh, very nice conditions there, and temperatures will be seasonal and very warm if you're coming from anywhere north of there. It'll be uh, a nice shot of warm air uh, for you guys in Miami. Now, we're going to get into your Kansas City, Missouri, or Kansas forecast uh, with whichever state you want to say it's in. Now, we have clear conditions here as well. No, uh, you're going to have some cloudy skies, but that's pretty much it. You have 41, 38, uh, 42. So, staying pretty uh, chilly, I guess you could say, uh, as you get between 3 a.m. and 9 a.m., but then it really warms up. You go from 42 at 9 a.m. to 57 at 12 p.m. to 30 uh, to 62 as you get into your 3 p.m. So, it's going to be a really big warm-up as that warm pressure kind of approaches there and at the height of that warm front you'll be right around 62 degrees a low of 42 for you guys in Kansas City now as we continue this you're going to see clear conditions roll through the evening time as you're watching your Super Bowl Sunday game uh, and 51 degrees and then getting into 47 degrees as you get to 9 p.m. and then also uh, getting into your Monday 12 a.m. is going to be 42 degrees 40 degrees at 3 a.m. and 6 a.m. is going to be 37 degrees so a very comfortable day uh, in Kansas City uh, where you're going to be watching your uh, Super Bowl game now San Francisco California now we're going to get into your San Francisco forecast here 53 for a high 43 for a low uh, 51 for a high on Monday low of 37 you're going to be seeing those temperatures pretty seasonal as well a very uh, average and boring day over much of the country for your Super Bowl Sunday you're going to be seeing uh, around 9 a.m. 12 p.m. Uh, and into 3 p.m. it's going to be in the 50s but then as you get into your kickoff time uh, or actually for San Francisco your kickoff time it would be around 50 degrees because uh, you guys are in Pacific Standard Time and then as you get into uh, as you get into uh, 6 p.m. right around 45 degrees 43 degrees as you're wrapping up the Super Bowl game and then getting into Monday it's chillier getting into the upper 30s now that is going to wrap up the video please consider liking the video subscribing and turn on notifications as I did spend a lot of time making all these graphics for you guys and I hope you guys did really enjoy this N anyways guys that was Eli the other guy and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.